good time at Science Day? Yeah. yeah. It's math and Science Day. Yeah. Right. Excellent. What's been your favorite thing so far? Um, this is the last one. The last one? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, we went to the um, solid crime scenes with... We got these buns and rooms. Yeah. All right. Yes, Fire. 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 And what's your favorite? Fire. Fire. Sure is. It's a short circuit and it's really bad for that. 
Does anybody hear what Alex said? Did you hear in the back? I heard the back part of it, not the beginning. You want to try again, Alex? Oh. Loud and proud. Because they're touching, the electricity will just go through the dough because it takes, the electricity takes the path of least resistance, basically. It doesn't like to take the long way through. Okay. And the long way is through the um, high resistance of the LED. So basically, the low, we're just giving it a low resistance path to go right through the dough. Okay? The basis of a short circuit. So <clears throat> to get around that, because you're gonna, when you're playing with your dough, you're going to end up having it touching, and that's going to be problematic because your lights go out and you're upset, is to put in the insulating dough. So you can then sandwich your dough together that way and safeguard yourself from short circuits. Okay. All right, so you get the lumps of the conducting dough, and you'll separate them with the lumps of the insulating dough. All right, everybody with me? Good? This makes sense? Yep. Okay, <clears throat> now, there are lots... Don't be shy. Lots of places. Okay, so... <clears throat> invite you to try anything that you like today, but some things that you should try are something called series circuits. <laughs> series circuits. Notice that we've got colored, insulating, colored, insulating, and colored. Okay? And you can put as many of those as you like in a row, but what you're going to find out is that once you get up to three of those in a row, the power associated with the power supply, the battery pack, won't be enough to light them all. Well, you should try that. Yes. So a series circuit is one where you have all the lights in a row. So you're making basically a big multi-sandwich. Okay. See how many you can get today before you run out of light. Sounds good? Okay. All right, so that's one way to hook your circuits up. Now, a brighter way to hook your circuits up are parallel circuits. Do you see the difference? Not one big long sandwich, right? Small sandwich. Lots of light bulbs. They all go on, right? Right? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. All right. Parallel yeah. circuits. You should try that. Now, again, the people who came up with these slides were not very inventive, were they? You got Q, Q, and a Q, right, effectively. So it could be a pig, a tree, and another pig. Could be dough and circles. Doesn't have to be cubes. What do you think, Kyle? What are you going to make? Oh, yeah, thank you. Okay, cubes <laughs> to start, cubes to start, and then we'll work on something fancy. <laughs> All right. Now, we don't just have to turn on light bulbs. We have buzzers as well, so you can make some noise. Depending on the side of the room you're on, everybody should have a little packet like this. So there's one buzzer that makes one sound. And then on this side of the room, you've got these bigger buzzers. I'm not sure that they necessarily make a bigger sound. And on this side of the room, you've got smaller buzzers. Thank you, Craig. Yeah. Okay. Two buzzers. buzzers. Uh huh. So you can <coughs> see if you can hook those up. Try hooking them up in parallel. Do you guys remember what parallel is? How big is your sandwich? Small. Small sandwich for parallel. See if you can get both buzzers on buzzers on at once. Then try series. How big is your sandwich? Big. As big as you want, right? Okay, <clears throat> besides your buzzer, you also have teeny tiny little motors. Okay, teeny tiny little motors. <clears throat> now, if you pick that up, some of, the, some of you have, can I? Some of you have some that have nice colored leads with little metal wands on the end, okay? And then some of you have some that I created, thank you ma'am, with wire here. They don't have cool little leads, but they work just as well. And the little rotator will rotate at the end. And it's so quiet that you'll probably have to feel it vibrate. Or you can put a little piece of putty, like they did, on the end and watch it whirl around. Okay? Right? Notice the way that it's been hooked up. They don't use any insulating dough, and that's just fine as long as the dough's not touching. Right? And you're welcome to put the insulating dough in there to make sure that you're not touching. Right with me? Okay, now, <clears throat> creativity is the key today. 
So let me show you a little squishy animal that was made so to give you some ideas <coughs> with what you might be able to do. You can do pretty much anything you want. But you start with taking, do you remember what this is? What this is? is like? Insulating dough. It's the insulating dough, yeah? And what's it going around? The motor. The motor, right? So you're coating the motor with insulating dough. Okay, and then what are you putting on top of that? Conductive dough. Conductive dough. All right. Interesting. Whoa, what's that? LED. <laughs> Those are LEDs, yes. And what do you got around it? The insulating dough. Hey, I guess it's kind of telling you up there, right? Yeah. <laughs> all right, and then you're kind of putting it all together so that you got <clears throat> basically a series circuit between the motor and the LEDs. Uh -huh. And then eventually, this little tail, that's going to be the end of the motor. And you can put a little lump of wax out there, or uh, dough out there, so it will spin. And then all you've got to do to complete this craziness oh, yeah. is attach the power supply to your creation. In this case, it appears to be a pig, because I'm high on pigs. <clears throat> and then you'll get glowing eyes on your pig and a whirling tail. about something before we get going. If you take your power pack and you directly hook it up to any of these implements without the dough, you'll basically fry them. There's too much current for any of these. So you first have to hook your power, power pack up to dough, okay? Dough first, and then bridge the gap, okay? With the dough, right? There's gonna be a gap between your lumps of dough. Bridge the gap with your circuit element, any that you choose. Right? So don't hook any of the circuit elements directly up to your power pack, or you're going to run out of toys to play with today. Good? Okay, so <clears throat> here's what we're going to do. Um, there's room up here. Somebody wants to set up here. Room right here. Right here. Okay, so we got stuff. All right. Nice one. All right, now, <clears throat> so we've got 12 power packs. That means there's, there's one for each table, all right? And we're going to have each table come up and get a power pack. And then right here, we're going to get a melt of insulating dough. Thank a lot.
So what you're going to do, this is, this is an insulator belt, and this one has a conductive belt. So what I'm going to do is that, so this is going to pass Yellow it is. It must be about seven. And I was going to say, take some of this conductor and go out. You mean the... I mean what, the other kind Insulative of dough? dough? Yeah, insulative dough. Put it on this. <laughs> what are we going to do? Make oh gosh, that's annoying. <laughs> This is the annoying burger. Wait, <laughs> here, let's do it. Let me do it. Okay, here, um, should we hold this or I'm gonna leave it there? Ah, uh, there's too much stuff in one spin. Here, let's take some lights out. Yeah. Let's just make it um, noisy. Yeah, noisy and spinny. Yeah, noisy and spinny. Maybe it was spinning, but maybe we don't. The dough isn't on well enough. Yeah. Sure. Okay.